on Smashville? I understand you had Pikachu and you were a very privileged ass rat, but like Smashville, bro? Snake on Smashville? Jesus Christ, you stream a different animal than me. But then again, I'm saying that, like, I don't take Snake to Smashville well, as Toon Link. Anyways, here we go. We on Extermination Patrol right now, because that, that, that rat just died, bro. Nice. I'm not gonna do it, but GX Dream gonna crack him in the head with that dash attack. I guess I could say the gut. Ooh, but that snake, never mind, just barely dying. It's a hefty boy. Good dash attack. Uh, GX Dream keeping these combos going on. Good call out with the up tilt. Boba doing a great job. Yeah. That down throw into the mix. Never mind, he just shot. He just hopped that a bit too late. Nice job, Jigstream, bringing this game back, making it look like a very. Ooh. Screw bringing this game back. He took this game for himself now. <laughs> yeah, he in the lead. Are we going to see another one? Do it again. Just barely missing, you know. Pikachu's tiny ass body. He rolled. He landed in front of Snake, then rolled into him, bro. This shit crazy. Maybe the extreme just a fan of the stage. And that killed across the stage. That's what we call an out of field out of field option, folks. That's so cra that's so crazy. <laughs> C4 back in play, you already know that control is going on. It's going on to the side of Snake. But like, with the C jolts coming around, you know, people don't really care about that. He's gonna put these cheese out, blow up the, the grenades out of there. Nice. There's a clean back here, and if the air dots fade into that man, his eyes are watching. You cannot make that mistake. Nice. The move will get up into the uh, into the back here. I don't know if that was a panic option or what? Screw the panic option. You, ju you lost sight of the C4. You made the biggest, you made a big mistake against Snake, man. You lost sight where the C4 was, man. Tell me, what we learned? What we learned today, G-Extreme? Always keep your eyes on the prize. The prize being... Surprise being the snake C4. Anyways, going right back into this next game with Smash the Town and City being the being the, being the spot. The spot for violence, the spot for games. 
I like this stage. This is very like I guess this stage can benefit both parties a lot, but more so more so Pikachu because Pikachu is like you know a character that likes to kill off the side a lot more. Snake really just be killing. Well, Snake be killing you anywhere. That's <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Look at it, just putting these <laughs> putting these up smashes into place of uh, doesn't matter where he goes. Look at this. He, he doesn't matter where he goes. He said I take that dash back because you know you can die no matter what, man. Not doing its thing. I mean, he's at a very low percent. And blew them both up. <laughs> you see both faces just like, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> nice job. The back is coming out. Boba doing his thing, you know. Pushing the extreme over to the edge. Very good back air. Oh my goodness. And then the seat. The mortar just catching him, sitting, blasting him up to the top. You're not going to see it, but you're, this is the vulnerable snake off stage versus Pikachu. But Bubbles recovery routes are so goddamn good. Look at that, bro. Look at that. Not seen it just yet, but no, he's moving good. How can he do it? Oh, we're not going to reach. I'm so, okay, I thought Pikachu still had a grenade in his hand. I'm like, that's that's recipe for death. Speaking of death, they're both at a kill percent where like a grab will kill either of them. Okay, neither one of them want to get grabbed. Well confirmed by nothing. Screw a grab. They both played around so much that GX3 forgot about another kill move that Snake has. His dash attack. Jake, Snake throw that around so much you can forget it kills. The GX team quickly tying this game back up. You know, we got an even game going on here still. So keeping it competitive, nice and competitive. I sure like it. I don't like to see blowouts. I like to see competitive games and a fair, a fair fight. <laughs> you know, some of these fights don't be fair. The mix up. Oh, nice job. Calling out the jump with that up, that thunder. What are you cooking? Now you got a C4 on your forehead. Nice. <laughs> Shielding just in time. Ooh, that was almost the back end. That would have been that would have been the stock too. You know, it's time to sit, you know how small these blasts don't be. Don't guess wrong! You guessed wrong. You guessed wrong. And you died for it. I'm not sorry. Stop the battle. Pikachu. That's menace activity. Anyway.
G-Extreme actually not playing the Pika Libra is game? Clean dash attack. Punish him. I don't know what Bobo's cooking right now, but he is so far off stage that the up air almost killed him. So much grenades flying down right now, but that dash attack will seal the deal on this first stock. G-Extreme with a... Actually, no. I'm about to say G-Extreme with like a lead, but no, no. I don't know. He's had a lead for most of this, for most of the set. Especially on the first game. But, you know, Bobo quickly closed it out. Sealed the deal. Finished his plate. All that stuff and that lingering that upper will seal that first stock coming out for Bobo. You got so many different ways. You got so many damn different combos, man. It's actually crazy <laughs> how many different routes this character has off of just like one button. Ooh, that killing off the side too. You came with a full stock lead. Catching Bobo jumping again. It's always right at that platform. He doesn't fall through, he just like jumps off at the side. You know, a lead, that's nothing for Snake. That is nothing for Snake, man. He can quickly make this up. Uh-oh. The Jigstream going in. Try to get the double dip. Tried to blow it up, but that thunder's still coming out. The extreme playing a lot more safe in this. I wouldn't say safe, but a lot more careful this game, you know? He's not falling into a lot of snake nonsense like he was last game. Last game, he was getting put in the snake blender. And speaking of blender, he got a foot straight to the chin. Sweet chin music right there from that snake. He's letting Bobo into his zone. And when Bobo's in his zone, man, he starts smooth in and grooving. He seems to getting lost in his own sauce right now. Went mad deep for that down air. Dash attack not going to do it just yet. A lot of damage on Bobo, but I feel like the next dash attack might do it. Oh, jeez. Bobo had an idea. Or he's just trying to get those grenades off of him, but that fair will take it. Game one going straight to the 3x Pikachu wins. Game three, my fault. I'm just so used to this Pikachu like winning. You know, it's a wrap. Let's see what Mr. Bobo is gonna cook. Or, or is he gonna ha be forced to take a step into Mr. G Extreme's kitchen? I do not know. He switched to Steve. I guess maybe he plays E for certain stages or something. I don't know. I do not know what he is cooking. When Steve is out, I, I am I am lost in the spot. I'm lost in the sauce. Man. Apparently, Bobo is not though. He has just a plan for this matchup, and it's called "Stay the Hell Over There," man. 
I don't want nothing to deal with that. Look at this. You pump, you dump it in my face, you get up tilted. Boy, what what are you what buttons are you suppressing? Oh no. He has no iron! You actually got a mine for some materials. And now he's off to hardly any iron. He got wood, dirt, and stone. Never mind. Why did he get a wait, 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 wait. Why did he spawn in with a bunch of new materials? What the hell? Am I am I am I late to the party just now finding that out? I saw he spawned it with like a full thing of iron through a minecart and a down air. What is he spot dodging for? I think he should have just stayed the rat. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yep. The option coverage, man. That 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 set of basically covered everything but roll. I mean if Bobo waited in time, he definitely would have covered the roll still, but it's like. Oh, jeez, that caught the throw? Shows the I know about Steve's setups. Dash attack. Stop him again. I don't know why Julius is throwing out the death smashes. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's not keeping an eye on where the C4 is. It's so tough. I'm not going to lie to you. But it's very clear. This is a bright ass stage. The C4 not going, but Gobo Popo was trying to cook. NG Extreme is just pressing these buttons, man. Double boots to the forehead. And Bobo will move on to Grand Finals. G.